What's up guys, it's Mastercard and welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Xiaomi Mi Band 4. I've been a fan of the Xiaomi Mi Band. I also did an unboxing of the Mi Band 2. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below and also the card above. Unfortunately for me, I lost the Mi Band 2 and then I replaced it with Mi Band 3. So here I have the Mi Band 3. But the major problem I had with the Mi Band 2 and Mi Band 3 was that it had issues with detecting the heart rate on darker skin tones. I did a bit of research and sources says it has been fixed on Mi Band 4. So I bought the Mi Band 4 and I'm going to test this out because I know you guys would like to also know if the Mi Band 4 fixes the issue with testing the heart rate on darker skin tones. So don't go away. I'm just gonna do a brief unboxing to show what you have inside the box. Here you have the classic Xiaomi packaging, which is usually a long box. The Mi Band 4 has an LED display, which is one of its selling points, same water resistant feature as the Mi Band 3, and some other specs you would have seen in other unboxing videos. Now let's see what's inside the box. The classic Xiaomi packaging is nothing too special. You have the band inside, a nylon wrap, next you have the charger and a USB connector. Honestly, a USB-C connector wouldn't have been bad, so that you could just have one charger to charge all your devices. The charger is a bit different from what you had on the band 2 and 3. The cable is a bit thinner and the charger contacts are placed differently also. Finally, you have the usual instruction booklet. Make sure you read that. Now getting to the band itself, let's see what we have. So this is the Mi Band 4. Actually, it feels a bit lighter than its predecessor, the Mi Band 3. Putting them side by side, you can see that there is not much difference in regards to size. The major difference can be seen at the bottom. You can see that the heart rate sensor is definitely bigger on the Band 4 and you have those charging contacts move to the back as opposed to the bottom on the Mi Band 3. The strap still looks and feels the same, so there's nothing new there. The screen has been replaced with a larger LCD screen and also the button on the Mi Band 3 is gone and has been replaced with a more touch-like sensor on the Mi Band 4. Now we are going to test the heart rate monitor and point out few differences between the Mi Band 3 and the Mi Band 4. When I have the Mi Band 3 strapped to my wrist and I try to measure the heart rate, you can see it fails. It has a problem with measuring heart rate on darker skin tones. So if you have a dark skin or you're African, African-American, you might have a problem using the Mi Band 3. You might be thinking, maybe I don't have it tight enough, but let me prove you otherwise. I have tested it on my palm, which is way more lighter than my wrist, and it works, or at least I get some reading. We are not sure if it's a software issue or a hardware issue, but I most definitely think it's a hardware issue, since the sensor uses light to read your pores and the light hardly penetrates darker skin tones. Now we're going to try the Mi Band 4 to see if the issue has been fixed. We are back and unfortunately I broke the Mi Band 4 after charging. It dropped and the screen broke. This is definitely one of the cons of the Mi Band 4. I've dropped my Mi Band 3 a bunch of times and I'm yet to break it. But with first use, I already broke the Mi Band 4. So that's something you should be careful about. Let's go ahead to see if the heart rate monitor would work, which is the main focus of this video. First, you need to pair the Mi Band 4 with your phone and the Mi Fit app. Luckily, the screen is still working, so it's good to know that if you break your screen, it would still work. Also, I don't think there is a screen replacement. Now, let's go ahead to activate the Mi Band 4. Since I have both 3 and 4, I would have to disconnect the 3 and pair the 4. So let's see how that goes. While that's happening, I would just like to talk a bit about the Mi Band 4. First would be the display. The use of colors are very nice and you get only one icon per screen for easy access. You can control your music, a feature that was missing on the Mi Band 3. It would definitely come in handy while running or jogging if you have an airphone like the AirDot which just has play or pause button without an option to skip your music. Back to the heart rate monitor. Let's see if it works. So what you do is just to tap once and it begins taking the temperature reading. I took the reading previously but it's going to measure again so let's wait and see what we get. Now we can see some movement. It's actively monitoring my heart rate. It was at 78 and now it's all the way down to 74. I'm going to try it again and let's see. So it has dropped and it continues to change. Now you can see that it works on darker skin tones. I'm happy about the results. 
Xiaomi has finally fixed their issues with the heart rate monitors for darker skin tones from the previous version. Now I can recommend the Mi Band 4 without having to think that it might not work for you because you have a dark skin. If you're looking for a fitness tracker or something to keep you accountable without having to spend so much, you should definitely grab one of this. That's it for the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.